of chills the fact that this happened in this neighborhood. I was in the military, never in combat, but um, it, it sounded like a mortar blast that thump. Here we go again. Yet another Austin neighborhood facing the fear of a serial bomber. The sound that you just heard from last night's explosion caught on this home surveillance camera. Good evening. Thank you so much for being with us at 10 o'clock. I'm Doug Dunbar. And I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. After four explosions and the bomber or bombers still on the run, the ATF is making the Austin investigation its highest priority. This is the poster seeking information as investigators continue to collect clues. The bombings, as you'd well imagine, striking fear in people all across this city, and they are responding, in fact, in large numbers to a specific plea from police. Our live team coverage tonight begins with our Jason Allen in Austin. And Jason, police asked for video, and tonight you heard those videos are, in fact, coming in. They are coming in, Kaylee, and tonight police as well have finished their work in this neighborhood where the bomb exploded. So the roads are back open up. The bomb was just outside the fence line of this home that's right back here behind me. This after ATF and FBI agents were in this neighborhood and others throughout the day going door to door as this investigation took a new direction. It could have been anyone who walked a road across the tripwire that triggered a bomb on this Austin sidewalk. But it was two men in their 20s who survived the blast but had significant injuries. Police started asking for videos like this one that caught the sound of the explosion. And Monday night, Police Chief Brian Manley said that request was working. If we are getting video uh, uh, turned in, and that is something that we're running through all of our analytics to see if there's anything that will help us in identifying the suspect or suspects in this incident. Since bombs killed Anthony House March 2nd and Draylen Mason March 12th, the number of agents working the case has grown to more than 500. The warnings have expanded. The University of Texas said it is increasing campus patrols and urging students to be aware. These students told us one of their professors couldn't get to campus today because she lives in the area of the latest explosion. It's scary because, like, we're a campus, a public campus. But we haven't so seen, like, police men, like, you so never, close yeah. that it doesn't make us, like, that scared. But I think if we saw some more security, we would be, be like, of course, more scared. In the neighborhoods, people were cautious, sometimes walking on streets instead of sidewalks and coming up with their own theories about the bombers' tactics. Well, it wasn't random choice. They must have known what they were doing, whoever did it. You know, it's just out of the way, and the police, uh, you know, cruise through here every night. In a letter sent out to families tonight, the superintendent of Austin Public Schools informed people that they are doing perimeter checks on all of the campuses here just to be safe for kids. They're also closely watching anything that comes to campuses through the mail. Live tonight in Austin, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.